Good afternoon and welcome to another exciting episode of whatever it is that I decide to talk about today through the University of Freedom. I really want to just be honest today and share some frustration because I'm still not where I want to be. I've been dreaming and scheming and planning and visualizing and doing all the right things. And I've been seeing growth and I've been seeing positive things, so I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful for where I'm at, but I'm still not where I want to be. And one of the big areas that I want to be is I want to be financially making enough that I can get off the disability. And while I've made a little bit of money doing uh, the leadership and, and John Maxwell coaching and empowerment network, I still have not achieved what I need to be able to comfortably uh, and even, you know, at all step away from, from having disability as income. And having to face some realities that, you know, building a house with my bare hands is probably not going to happen in my lifetime uh, unless something miraculous happens to uh, keep my body working harder or, or I make a lot of stinking money utilizing internet marketing and videos like this to encourage other people to, on disabilities or, or people that are just wanting to improve how they communicate their business opportunity or their service opportunity, if you're another coach or a speaker, and you're just looking for a better platform to utilize, you know, then that's all I'm talking about is joining the Empowerment Network because they have the future of the blogging, videoing, recording industry kind of set and ready to launch in the next week or two. And see, I've got a big, exciting month of October coming up, and I've got in my vision that it's going to be my first $5,000 month. Now, some of you may be thinking $5,000 isn't very much, and you're right, it's not. But that's what I need to be able to consistently produce to get my family off of disability and to save this country doing my part. You see, freedom and, uh, I, you know, I share in my blog a lot of different things, and if you're on my subscribers lists, then you see what I'm, I'm blogging about, then you know that I'm constantly sharing a few things around the theme of sustainability of, of freedom through sustainable business which you can achieve through internet marketing because it's something that can be sustained uh, as you know you can always advertise more you can always expand your market you can always write another blog post you can always do another video uh, the cost of entry is very very low and for the empowerment network their whole blogging platform their their knowledge base starts at just twenty five dollars I mean, 25 bucks. That's way under anything else I've ever attempted for business. And I made that a lot faster than I did with any other business. And so I made my investment back a whole lot quicker, my initial investment back a whole lot faster with Empowerment Network than I have anything else I've tracked. I'm still paying for my Maxwell education. And again, it's me. It's my, am I not calling enough people? It's my. Uh, not making enough sales calls. It's my not beating the drum beat that's, that's keeping me from being successful in my business. I'm not blaming Maxwell. I'm not blaming their program. I'm not blaming anything for my lack of success. But that's why I'm trying to do another video. That's why I want this to be the video that, that somehow gets through to a person somewhere and, and they see, wow, this guy really believes he can do this. Right? He really knows that this is the best way for anybody to be able to make money in today's world. And that was my original goal. Six years ago, I started, I had a vision that I was going to write a book that was going to change the world, and I was going to create a virtual choose-your-own-adventure story. And that's really kind of what my blog is. It's just an a interactive story of what I'm going through right now, of what I'm thinking about right now, and then how... Uh, it ties with my future plans and goals, and I just kind of share that with people. And, I, and this is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to recruit a team of people who can see and share a vision of making money by sharing opportunities with other people, recruiting students to a university that then shares a greater purpose of using open source and free information to be able to, to spread the tools of real freedom. And then we utilize the money that we make through the Empowerment Network, through the internet marketing, through whatever product it is we're selling, and we can each uniquely sell our own individual product or service. 
and when we start rebuilding society through uh, cooperative communities of people who collaborate in order to build a better world, and we do that so that we don't have to go down a path where we see people with disabilities as such a liability that we start exterminating them. And I truly believe that that's where we're going. That the way our government is headed, and if you don't pay attention to the news or anything, I, I don't want to get political, but historically, when governments stop being able to afford things, they start looking at excuses and weak people that they can take advantage of. And as a person with a disability, I live with an invisible disability, I've had three open heart surgeries, so my physical ability to go work and be a wage slave is extremely limited. So I'm a high cost to a government-controlled health care system that is then looking for ways to cut costs because it's $17 trillion in debt right now and it's going to keep getting worse. And they're going to say, well, why don't we just get rid of the people that cost us so much money? And you know we have a very dangerous mindset. I've traveled and I uh, meet people, and one of the things that I find common in a lot of circles is this idea of overpopulation, that we're overpopulated, and therefore we're going to uh, cave the system and we need to kill people. We need to get rid of people. There's a lot of people in the world that believe that we should really kill a lot of people in order to improve our world because of overpopulation. And what I believe is that that's a bunch of crap because when you start walking down that road of believing it's okay to kill other people, they never think that they're going to be one of the ones killed, right? They always think that they're of such value that they're not going to be killed. And, you know, i got to say, I'm sitting here watching myself in here, and it, I feel like I must have had a stroke at some point because it's like only half of my mouth moves. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, see, it's live, interactive. You never know what's going to happen. I'm trying to make my mouth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> as, as I discover how to make a living on the Internet as well and share that with you so that in a greater view we can build a better world, a world that doesn't see people as worthless, where we find the best in people of all shapes, sizes, colors, credences, and we start working together in a more collaborative way. Because that's really the only way that we can move forward and, and be positive. Right? If we as a, as a, not just a nation, but as a species, are going to move forward, and we're not going to end, and we're not going to cave in on ourselves, and we're not going to blow ourselves up with nuclear holocaust, right? and we're not going to just sit back and wait for the Savior to come back, and I do believe he's coming back, but I believe that we can kind of control when that happens with our behavior. Right? Overall, what I hope to accomplish is to be an encouragement to other people that they can take personal responsibility for their life, no matter what their current situation is. I was $100,000 in debt. I had three open heart surgeries. I've been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. They put me on uh, sleep medications, told me I had restless leg syndrome. I had all these other diseases. I had all these problems. I was a sick, sick person. And I didn't have a job anymore. My best hope was disability. And it was at that point that I said, I'm going to become a success coach. I'm going to teach people how to become successful. I'm going to share with other people how they can improve their lives and then teach others to do it. And so I began figuring out how I, how I could do that because I didn't have a clue. I had not been successful up to that point. And so I had to learn and grow and I had to figure out, well, how do I take care of the debt I have now? Right? How do I get out of debt? How do I move forward? And how do I do the right things? And how do I even identify what the right things are? And then in that process, I found out I was also going to be a father, so I started having a look at truth. What truths was I going to pass on to my son? Truths about freedom, truths about uh, government, and which, you know, how to vote, right? What way, should, what way do I vote? It was political season when we found out that we were pregnant, so, you know, 
but it's important, right? And, and we and we ignore those sort of things and we say, oh, well, making money is important, but it doesn't matter how much money you have if the monetary system is so corrupt that you can never get ahead. And that's why you need to have something that you can really ramp up and you can become like a Tony Rush and make a million dollars in a month, which is what's possible with internet marketing, right? With, with utilizing the ability to tap into the whole world to sell your product or service. Because if you can come up with a service, if you can come up with a story to tell online that it can go viral, and imagine you've seen videos that 12 million people have watched this video and you're like, wow. Imagine if he got just a, a, a penny for every video view. What if every video view could turn into a penny? What could that do for a person's income potential? Right? And so when people join my Empowerment Network team, what they're really doing is helping me get off disability, helping me create a community of people as a virtual community of people. The, the team that, that joins now, right? when those people do that, they're joining this bigger vision of getting people off of disability in mass. Right, because that's my goal. When I prove that you can do it, when I show here's a system that I used to do it, right, then we're able to then take that to the to the global scale of if you're disabled, you can still do this. It doesn't matter. All right, I met a young man who uh, lives in Louisiana, Missouri, and he runs a Civil War history site. I think the Gettysburg.org site and some of the other major Civil War history websites. Right? And he makes a living off websites and he's a paraplegic and so you're I'm, you know I'm thinking how can I do this I mean you got Nick Boyacek Nick Boyacek is able to reach and touch millions of lives and he has a website and he has books and he has videos and audios and he does all these same similar things but he's got a much more powerful imagery because he has no arms and legs and he's a much better speaker and communicator and he's you know just done amazing powerful things with his ministry and I'm not trying to take away from him in any way shape or form um, because he has done much more than what I at this point have done but it's not what I've done now and it's not about where you're at now it's about where you can be and where you're going and that's really what life is all about and we're given today and we have today only to do the small things to do the little steps and I'm looking up here because I've got that you're only one action a day away from exploding your business right and these little mental things that you get taught in network marketing and other businesses but they work right over time what you are what you believe even my bible tells me that i am what my heart desires and what my heart desires is to encourage you to do something today to be a better you tomorrow and I want you to learn from somebody, from anybody, to follow somebody who has gone a little bit further, who has turned their life from crapola, from 100000 in debt, to no debt. I don't want you to, uh, to follow somebody who has learned to make a lot of money, if that's what you need in order to, to buy your freedom back. Now, you see, we are ultimately slaves to... The, the monetary system unless we learn how to live our lives and get freedom financially from that. Or when you get to be a Tony Rush or a, a, one of these men that, or women that go out and they make their living just sharing videos like what this is right now, just talking to people like I'm talking to you right now. When you're one of those people, what's your lifestyle going to be like? All right, what videos are you going to take of yourself and your family doing? All right, is it going to be sitting around stressed? No. They're going to be fun and exciting and exotic pictures. Like you can go back through some line and see where we went to Costa Rica and we, we've gone on some great trips and we started being able to do those things because we started growing as individuals. Because we took personal responsibility for our money, for our life experiences, for what we got out of the time that we are given. I've been blessed. I have this view of life that's different than most people because I've died more times than most people have been alive. And I've been legally dead more times than, than most people have ever really felt truly alive. And it's a sad thing for most people. 
because they go through life sitting in a cubicle or sitting in an office or doing a job or living a lifestyle that they hate, being a person that isn't them. So I'm inviting you to become your own version of yourself, your best version of yourself. I became for a long time Conrad Bond Super Tramp. Right? And I would I had to become that person. I had literally had to change myself for a while so that I could recreate myself from being this broke, physically ill, sick person that the the medical community had, had turned me into and my heart had turned me into and my thinking had turned me into because my thinking was so bad. Right, my actions were were a little less than desirable as, as well in some ways, but I was pushing myself to my ultimate limits right up to the end. Right, I was given right up until I went in for my third surgery, and even afterwards, even up till most days today, I was given everything I had. I was working eight, ten hour days, plus I was riding my motorcycle 20,000 miles a year and staying up for four days on end, hanging out and associating with my brothers and getting to spend time with people and do things and, and live life in a way that most people will never experience. They'll read about, they'll watch it on Tuesday nights when they watch TV and they'll imagine that they got how cool it would be to do something exciting with their life and instead of actually going out and living it, they'll watch somebody else do it. And so what I'm wanting you to do is start the project of you. Right? I want you to get started in your project for living an amazing life. Right? You need to live a life that if they write a book about you when you die, people are going to want to read it. Right? Then that means you've got to do something worth reading. So what are you going to do? And how are you going to fund it? And that's what I'm offering you. I'm offering you life coaching, right? personal development coaching, as a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and trainer in order to help find the, the life, put your dream to the test, develop the leadership skills you need to be successful if that's what you need for your business that you already have or for the lifestyle that you already have. Right? Maybe you just need some, some growth and achievement in an area that you already are successful in. Now, maybe you're a person that doesn't have a business. You don't know what you want to do. You have no idea. You just have this crazy idea for a lifestyle that you want to live. You do something really weird and quirky. You got pink hair, whatever it is, you know, that you do that's so different. You're a belly dancing, whatever. Right? You've got something unique about you that's just your story. It's your life. Right? To you, I'm offering a blogging platform and a business that goes along with it so that you can make money and fund that crazy, funky life. Now, for the business person, I want you to figure out, you know, you've already got your business, you're, you're fairly financially successful, but you're, you're not finding that personal gratification out of your business anymore. See, what I'm concerned about with you is that you're allowing your business to run your life and not your life to run your business. And so I just want to help you and coach you and guide you through the leadership that it's going to take for you to be able to allow other people to run your small business for you. Right, your, your business needs other people to be able to take over. Maybe you're a lawn care business and you really want to be able to step back and enjoy what you've worked for because you've been in business for 10 years. Right? And you've got success, but you just, right? That's why I'm a John Maxwell coach, right, for you. But you're, the, you're the, the person that has no business experience. You don't know what to do. You just want to make some money and you don't want to go be a corporate drone but you can't imagine being in a, in a brick and mortar business. It's just not for you today. Uh, you know, you've got a college degree perhaps, but you can't find a good job. You're working part time. Your future uh, prospects don't seem very good. Well, then I'm going to, I want to utilize the empowerment network with you in order to help you build a business around putting your dreams for changing the world into practice. Right? Because we young people, we're all idealistic. Right? We're all going to change the world, and it's going to be beautiful and wonderful, but you got to fund it. And that's the truth. The truth of the matter is that money is a tool that has to be used, and it buys a lot more influence uh, than leadership can, unfortunately. But good leadership will always last. Good leadership will make a lasting change, whereas corrupt, monetary-based leadership will only make momentary changes. But it does take money to make a difference. 
you have to have tools. You know, you want to fly to another country and, and share with the world what's going on there through your blog and through your videos and through you, telling your story and making money doing it. And you got to have money for the tickets, right? So that means you got to make money for the tickets. And you use your blog and your story and your preparation to go and all that to do it, right? Or you figure out a way to do it. And that's what the Empowerment Network is all about. And so I'm, I'm splitting up these two services and I'm sharing them with you through a blogs and video logs and, and my own learning process so that I can then get off disability and build a team of business people and entrepreneurial thinking young people who can then take on the world and change it one person at a time. Because it starts with the self, right? The, the project of changing the world, of changing your community, of fixing your country, of fixing the world, of fixing the problems that you see wherever you see them, starts with you fixing them in you. I had to fix my outlook of the world in order to be able to have any impact or any influence on changing the world into a view that I thought was better. Right? Because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And it's important to me that we fix things because if not, where we're going to go in history is very ugly. And we see it in countries around the world right now in Syria and places where they're finding the weaker and they're killing them. And, and it has to stop. At some point, we as individuals have to make decisions in our own lives that are going to be able to impact our greater communities. We're going to have to learn to communicate that. We're going to have to utilize the successes of our businesses and the abilities of our businesses and our business potential. And we're going to have to be able to use that influence and we're going to have to share with others a better world. And we're going to have to start fixing it in our own neighborhoods and in our own communities in our own homes. Right, business person, you've been in business 10 years, you've been very successful. How is your family life? How well do you know your kids? When was the last time you spent more than 15 minutes looking your child in the eye and having a conversation with them? That's why I'm able to coach teens and young adults is because I'll actually spend time getting to know them and really trying to understand what they're going through and who they are and help them try to fix it through their own inner strength, right? Not through uh, some dictatorial, I want you to go in this direction kind of thing. Because you as a father are not spending 15 minutes looking your kid in the eye. And I'm blessed, I was able to go through three heart surgeries, so I have an income that's been able to take care of me. But my goal is to get off of that, and you're a part of that. When you join the Empowerment Network, you help me do that, right? Or when you hire me as a coach, you help me do that and you help your country, and you help your world. Because we are in, in America, fortunately, a, a free place comparatively. Right? Because in our mind, we still believe we're free, even though we see you know, evidence around us that we're not. When you make money, and when you make enough money, you can buy your freedom, because you don't have to worry about what happens. They can raise the price of things, but you're, you're set. Right? You, You've got your personal compound solidified, right? And I'm not saying you know, you're armed up or anything like that. I'm just saying you have the ability uh, because you've got enough space that, and you've got the tools there and available to you uh, to survive no matter what, right? That's the way I look at becoming free and utilizing the tool of money to become free. And I like open source ecology and I like open source technology and I try to bring all that together so that everybody has access to freedom and the tools and the equipment and the ability to do it. You just have to learn to work. You're going to have to learn to learn. And you're going to have to learn to enjoy it, man. Make it fun. Make it part of what you're blogging about and making money, right? And can you imagine what people are going to do when they see you hand forging metal and you create your own iron forge and you start melting down recycled material that you pick up and clean up your neighborhood? and then turn it into really cool uh, pieces of equipment that then goes and grows food for the elderly in your neighborhood in an abandoned lot that you use the same tools to build to clean up that abandoned lot and then use the recycled metal and 
Do you see what's possible? And when we start communicating and collaborating about what we can do in our individual neighborhoods all around the world and sharing tools and resources and information and technology in order to be able to help each other make enough money to be able to generate the funds to supply the tools and to get the sponsors from the business owners and the interest in the communities to be able to make lasting change, right? When we're able to, to be a bunch of leaders that say we're not going to stand for this, say we're going to do something about this, we're going to take control of our futures, we're going to become free men and women, right? When we do that, then we can really, really start changing the world. And this isn't a joke, it isn't impossible. We, you can see and find examples of people minutely changing the world all over. And it just depends on what you're going to minutely change your world to be. Is it going to be a better place and a more abundant place, a place where we're building opportunities for people again, where we're building hope again, where we're giving encouragement to somebody uh, healthy and young, that they can create a better future, that they can take control of it, that they can take leadership for their self, and, and they can do something about where they want to go in life? All right, if that's what we have to do, then let's go do it. All right, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to do. And I want you to help me. You can, if nothing else, just share this with other people and say, you've got to watch this 30 minutes of this guy ranting and raving about how he can go from being disabled and to totally and completely unsuccessful in so many ways and transform his life through personal growth, through reading books, through learning what he could do, and applying those skills and those techniques and those abilities into something that not only could make him enough money to get off of disability, but encourage other people to do it and be able to teach them and train them how to do it so that he could change the world. And I want you to support him. I want you to join him in his efforts because he's also teaching people and coaching people and guiding people on how we can change the economy and how we can create the global society that's going to be able to go to space. That's going to be able to go where no man has gone before because Star Trek had to create a system on Earth where they didn't have worries on Earth and they could work collaboratively on a worldwide scale. And that's why we study leadership. We talk about sustainability. We talk about personal growth because it's the individual taking responsibility and personal growth is absolutely 100% taking personal responsibility. That's why you'll hear me talking about space, space exploration and potential, and you'll hear me sharing about potential a lot and the human potential because I think that we could send people that are paraplegic into space and we wouldn't have to worry about the, the body wrap or the brain could do some amazing things, right? It could control the spaceships that then take the people in deep sleep to the next um, planet, right? I mean, let's look at all of our citizens of the world and the fact that God has made us all the way he has made us, disabled or not. What we would call disabled, what we would call ill, has great potential. And if we don't do something, if we don't work together, if we don't get enough of us out of economic bondage and get enough of us into a freedom mentality and into a society and into communities and into places where we will be free and protected, then I'm very, very afraid of what's going to happen to those that are a burden on society. And I really hope that you'll join me in putting all this together to create communities of people that are supportive and creative and finding solutions for how we can showcase that people with disabilities are really people with full capabilities. That it isn't necessarily a disability to be different. And it doesn't make us unequal. And so we have to find ways to do that. And I want you to join me and help me to do that. I want you to join me now in doing that. This and this is going to be sent out to you as subscribers, but it's going to be available to anybody to see. It's in a public domain. So if you're seeing this, if somebody shared this with you, then join the University of Freedom as we go out and we seek to utilize open source technology to be able to collaborate with the space industry and industrial technologists around the world to be able to 
change the world into a truly sustainable model so that we can go and start including our species in other planets. Now, I really want you to help out. I want you to join me now with the Empowerment Network blogging system because that is the tool that we are going to use to communicate and to build the money necessary to do this. So again, join me now. I look forward to having you as a student in the University of Freedom.